is an unsanctioned, unauthorized mission. If we fail, England will be condemned to a lifetime under the German boot. And so I said, that is not a dog. That is my wife! <laughs> <laughs> the Ministry of Ungentlely Warfare. All right, so this movie, it takes place during World War II. It takes place uh, around the time of the Battle of London when the Germans were dropping bombs on London. And it basically it stars Henry Cavill. Um, it stars that one guy that people want to be the next Batman. I don't really want to see that just because I remember him from Blue Mountain State. Uh, but, I mean, he this is probably the first thing I've seen him in since that. Even though, because I haven't watched Jack Reacher. I know people are like, you need to watch Jack Reacher. I'll get there eventually. So, um... So this is a very interesting story because apparently this is a the because this was a this is a story that actually happened. So I didn't know that going into the movie. I saw a TV commercial that he did in March Madness. And I was like, oh, that looks interesting. New Guy Ritchie movie directed by Guy Ritchie, of course. Uh, British action movie. I mean, it's either him or Matthew Vaughn. But I feel like right now Guy Ritchie is on a hard, on a lot harder streak than. Uh, this than uh, Matthew Vaughn is, and this is back to the classic Guy, Guy Ritchie action movies. Like the Covenant that came out last year, did not feel like a Guy Ritchie movie. This one feels like a Guy Ritchie movie, and I really like the action. First off, Henry Cavill, I love that guy. He is like every time he shows up, I'm on a root for him because I feel like he got a raw deal in both Witcher and Superman and and really it's gonna really hurt my feelings watching Witcher. I feel like I bring that up every time I talk about Henry Cavill. But I thought he was pretty kick ass in this movie. I thought the action, the mustache was hilarious. I thought it was uh, pretty good. And apparently his at the actual man it's what inspired Ian Fleming to make James Bond write the books because that Ian Fleming, the, the character, is actually in this um, <laughs> movie. And I was just like, huh. And then whenever I said Ian Fleming, I was like, and then I was like, I was like, that's the guy who created James Bond. That's that's kind of interesting. Yeah, the action's great. The, the premise of it is great. If you like spy movies, this is a movie that you'll definitely check out. So. Yeah, I mean, I really don't have to say much more because I kind of want, I don't want to give it all away. I mean, it's very, it's a very simple story. The action is very cool and I enjoyed this movie. It's the one that I would definitely buy and watch again. Or just if it's on TV, I would definitely check it out like on Netflix or something. So guys, I am going to give the Ministry of Ungently Warfare. I'm going to give it an A- minus as well. I did really enjoy this movie. Not my favorite guy, Richie, but hey. April. Sometimes April's a dumpster fire, and I felt I felt like I've gotten some good movies in April, and that really I mean now my my movie list is uh, getting up there because we're at this is my tenth movie of the year so far. Woohoo! So guys, have you seen the Ministry of Ungently Warfare? And what are your thoughts? Comment below. Let me know. And guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe some more, and tell your friends about using Nation. All too easy.